notifies operators the moment of your passing within minutes, so Legacy Lock teams can swarm on your home and office, removing any embarrassing material. We don't like to divulge our trade secrets, but you'll rest assured we'll be in and out, and no one will know. You're going to die. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Call Legacy Lock, and your cookies won't crumble you. Is Harry Carey here? Have you lost a loved one? Perhaps a beloved pet? Well, I can get you in touch with Automelda and Little Bubbles. Then all you gotta do is call 1 800 Ask Harry and I got you covered. Your deceased loved ones will be nothing more than a phone call away with Harry Carey's Liaisons to the Dead. Call me now at 1 800 Ask Harry. Here's Charlie from Toronto. Harry Carey got me in touch with my Uncle Abe. And I found out he was the Sausage King of Chicago. Then there's John from Salt Lake City. Mommy Ma Agnes told me where to find a fortune she had hidden from a bank robbery she had done in the early 40s. So call me now and get in touch with your loved ones at 1-800-ASK-HARRY. That's 1-800-ASK-HARY. Professor Ptolemy Tyson here for the Cranial Emission Show with Ben Charles, Miguel Hito, and Caleb Crispy. Now that's what I call a compound. Uh, welcome back to the Cranial Mission Show, folks, the penultimate segment of the show, broadcasting live like we do every other week from the Lion's Den. Ben Charles, Miguel Hito, the C-squared, Caleb Crispy, the producer, Sancho Sanchez, and our gracious host, Brian Lyon, owner of the Lion's Den, all hanging out here. You want to be a part we of the show? We left out Andy. Oh, and then our, our gracious buddy, who has been kind enough to... Buy a pair of pants with holes in them already. <laughs> he has, and he's been kind enough to flex his pecs and his remarkably low nipples. Look at his nipples under his pockets. It's weird. <laughs> he's like my grandma. Her nipples hang so low they could be knees. Why are you looking at your grandma's nipples? Yeah, why are you looking at your grandma's nipples? We had to save water. We took showers together. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know it. Sometimes you have to cut the holes in the bucket, right? And you have, I live in San Pedro Sula, which is the murder capital of the world. No, not anymore. I work hard. I was surgically put in the town to do things for people. <laughs> what? Oh, He's admitting things that we don't want to know about here in the show. If, if you did experience, for, for listeners of the show, if you did experience a disconnect, Spreaker is doing its, its, its utmost, uh, uh, is exhibiting a tremendous amount of effort to be as inconsistent as blog talk, and we don't appreciate that. But anyway, welcome back to the show. <laughs> uh, you know, we talked about the whole transracial thing earlier. Hopefully it actually conveyed before we got disconnected. But also now we have to deal with this overly PC crap when it comes to people just being fat. Okay? And look, it's okay. I mean, look. Out of the four of us that are sitting here at the table, there are three of us that are um, sizable. Now, I would say, you know, hey, which is hey, a good thing. And one of us that are badass, thank you I am much. in shape. Yeah. yeah round, round. Is, round is a shape. <laughs> <laughs> the body of a god. Exactly. <laughs> what is Andy? Back in the day, I'd be look, I'd look on, like a guys, rich guy. Guys, Andy's in a cigar room flexing all weird. Is there a door we can put on there or something? I have to see that. I'm surprised, you know, <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't pulled his member out and put it in a cigar box waiting for you to smoke He, he gets a boat, and then all of a sudden he's <laughs> wanking himself over here. <laughs> the things we deal with for you folks. Anyway, just so be appreciative. We're, we're talking here. about the whole size thing, and now everyone's so oh, concerned. God, nothing about drives the, me no, the more size crazy. Size shaming. Oh, you can't call a fat bitch fat. Well, you know what? If you're fat, then just deal with it. I mean, look, was it lately? Our friends have been telling me how the the, the new me ate the old me. <laughs> <laughs> that what? That you what? Did that say was you funny. had a mom bot. That, that was funny. Ago. That, <laughs> you know what? I could be offended by that, or I could just lose weight. Yeah, or or just right. deal with it. One of the things that drives me the most nuts about this, and I ha I have a family member who is, uh, um, she's she's a a, a rounder gal. She's and fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she has a lot of loving no, but, to go but, around. But here's around. here's the thing: is is <laughs> there's plenty of people that are overweight. I'm overweight. I know it, and and, and that's fine. I'm I'm okay with it. I I would like to do things to make it better, but I haven't yet. But anyways, the the whole thing that drives me nuts is the skinny shaming. The right. fact that we are now forced to accept big is beautiful. 
No, don't get me wrong. There are plenty of attractive, you know, slightly bigger girls well, out there. There's, and there's this big right here is. There's plenty of big, bigger looking, good looking guys, right? But um, right. no, it <laughs> it drives me insane to see that that you know I saw an article a couple weeks ago of a of a of a plus size model, and she was like a size twenty two supermodel. That's oh, not a, yeah. That's not a supermodel. She's she is super. Yeah, she's a model. Okay. And that's fine. She she wasn't unattractive. I mean, she wasn't my taste in women, but she was she was a good looking gal. Chucky? I guess mm, some people like them big. Yeah, but and that, and that's fine. But the fact that our society has gotten to the point where we we feel that it's to have the, as a man to say that a, a, a certain shape of a woman is more attractive than another is now a, a blasphemy. All of a sudden, is is insane. You know, I. I don't mind the thicker girl myself. I don't want a fatty, but I don't mind a, a, a little bit thicker okay, girl. But listen, I like skinny girls too. Listen, let's let's define thick. Let's define thick. Okay, because here they, here's, there has to be there has to be a certain. Level. Oh yeah, well here here's my def- so, yeah, but it's all about preference though. Here's my no, definition no, but of everyone it. Everyone has a has their own definition of yeah. thick. So let's here's my definition, and, and, and I call it the the Miss Piggy effect. And it's <laughs> well you, p- well put. No, no, it's it's when you have a girl that's you know she's a little overweight, she's a little bit curvier, and you know, oh, but she's. Cur- but she's not, she's not fat, you know, fat rolls hanging over. But she's a little thicker girl, but she dresses up nice. She looks good in what she wears, right. you know. She's a, she's a thicker girl. And I call it the Miss Piggy because, you know, you look back in the day, you remember Miss Piggy would put on some heels and whatever, and, and Kermit liked it, you know. I'm so pretty. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and that's, that's okay. But the, the whole thing of if you don't find a fat girl attractive, it's offensive. No, that's not offensive. That's fucking normal. Well, no, it's, only, you know it's only offensive when you say, hey, that fat girl's not, a, not pretty. You know what's offensive to me? Oh is when a God. morbidly obese woman decides to wear tight clothes that are not made for her. That's offensive yoga to pants. me. Yes. No, well, yoga no, no. pants, good example. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yoga what pants are go. only for people Here that do yoga. Y- 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 your pants say yoga, that but your ass no, says Brian, McDonald's? That is, Brian, yeah. that is not that's, true. That, you know I will let every woman wear some yoga pants. Wait, he got interrupted on this. Say this again. Your pants say yoga, but your ass says McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is great. By, by the way, I, I agree with your with your uh, your assessment of the Miss um, Piggy. Yeah, uh, I, I, and I wouldn't say nece- necessarily even say Miss Piggy because that has a negative connotation. No, it does. But, but I, it what, does, I, mean, it what does. I mean is what I mean is 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 a woman who is a little thicker, but. Tries and does herself up like Miss right. Piggy used to do. But, she used to dress but, up but with her red say, heels and things. The, the reason I agree with well, that she had no choice. She was a pig. It is because you said, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you said, you know, she doesn't have any roles or anything like that. Yeah, there are some women that you know that put on that freshman fifteen and that and that keep it on, and uh, you know, it, freshman some of them, fifteen. Yeah, freshman well, the 15. freshman fifteen. 15 yeah. a hell we're, of a lot different. About, we're not talking fifteen pounds. We're talking fifteen stone. No, okay. the, the freshman yeah. fifteen a hell of a lot different than the freshman fifty. Yeah. Right. Well, that's what right. I'm saying. 15, exactly. 15 stone is uh, one stone is 14 pounds a piece. So d- yeah. do that yeah. math. But. Not to be confused with the Ebor 15, which also happens when you move down here. <laughs> yeah, uh, which which winds up being wait, Ben like Ben Ben. That's my body. That was like two months ago. That <laughs> so was two months ago. Now it's the <laughs> freshman 20 or the Ebor 25. 25. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, but I, I believe I believe that a woman can be can be curvy without being you know. It's all about how you carry without yourself. Being considered, without being considered the big woman. Yeah. But, what, but once she gets into having a role or two yeah. or, or several, then she's moved into a different category. She's, and she's Rob Ford in herself. Well, the, the other yeah, thing, too, is, is, is it has a lot to do with how you, <laughs> how you dress yourself. If, and if, you, if, you're, if you're a bigger gal and you're trying to fit into tight clothes that don't fit you, oh it doesn't fucking work. We'll put on something that looks good. Whatever. You, Anyways. You no, I believe the, I'm uh, not the only when he says here. it, when Brian says it puts you into a different category... I believe that the uh, appropriate genus for that term is fattest bitches maximus. Yeah, yes, no, you're right. Absolutely. You're right. That's exactly right. The the, uh, the woman who is ladies that are listening excessive, that are of overweight. No, 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 no. no. There's we nothing wrong you. with being overweight. Most of us at this table are overweight. That's not the that's not the thing. What the problem is is the women who are overweight and excessively overweight, but still try to force down the fact that they're not. Now. Most of those women, mind you, and like and I said, and you said excessively. Not now, mind you, I have one in my family who posts things on Facebook all the time that big is beautiful, and I'm sexy, and you should love me for what I am. But mind you, she's the same woman who, when I talk to her, she's always talking about trying to lose weight. So there's a difference between putting on a facade and so that love is, me now, but no, love me more later. No, no, no. What it is is 
what it is is to the world, and when I'm speaking, I'm proud of being big and beautiful. But ultimately on the inside, I know I'm overweight and I need to lose weight. See, that's the difference. You know, you have guys like us sitting at this table. Most of us, hey, I know I'm, a, I know I'm, a, I'm overweight. I still think I'm a decent-looking okay. guy, yeah. but, well, but, but I'm, not gonna, standard but I'm not going to sit here and say that, that I should handsome. be handsome. I, but there's I'm not a, gonna, there's I'm, a double standard for men. There's no, there a double is, standard for there men. Is, there is. There there's is. a double standard. And that but, standard is money. That's yeah. right. It's, <laughs> a, it's a money <laughs> factor. But no, you brought up a great point there, Brian. The, the double standard factor, though, is, you know, as, as a man, I can sit back and say, yeah, we talked about Channing Tatum. He's in fantastic shape. That's a good-looking dude. I mean, on, on all of a scalability of what women find attractive, mm. he's a good-looking dude. Yeah. I know I don't match up to him, and that's okay. The problem is, is with with the, the the women that we're talking about here. Not all women. Yeah, but your ab is way bigger than My, his ab. Yeah, right. <laughs> Listen. No, but no, hold on, hold on. The, the, w- w- when you're talking about the the women that we're talking about here, though, is they want to say, okay, that woman over there who is a supermodel and a size zero and she's fantastically built, she's pretty, but I'm just as pretty. That's the f- that's the difference right there. I know I am not as in good a shape and as as handsome or as sexy as Channing Tatum, and I'm fine with that. And that's okay to be fine with but where you I are. But I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But, in my mind, I am. No, no. You know You've certainly got a much more luxurious beard. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's pretty. I'm going to crawl up in that bitch Absol- later. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but no, no, but the problem I have is, is these women who, who feel that, it, you know, it's okay. If they would look back and say, okay, that woman is beautiful over there. I'm not her, but I still think I look good. That's right. not what it is, though. What it is is she's too skinny that's not what beauty is i'm beautiful she's not pretty at all i'm prettier and I, that's just the way it is and i'm sexy and i'm a goddess and it's like no okay but fuck off true beauty i don't go on a beauty you're the goddess of gluttony true beauty somewhere in the middle that. but listen all right we've we've got to come to grips on this and, and and big women need to come to reality okay certain big women yeah because no, some big no, women uh, yeah are, no, well, aren't the, trying to lose weight and they're happy with who they are because they're a person but there is women that and, and just that's, like that's you're fine. describing That's there. fine, exactly. Just like you're describing. No, 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 but, but, but you, you made a great point there. That type of woman is fine. Right. It's the women who are overweight, excessively overweight, and think that you have to accept that as, as being ultimate beauty just like the, right. the supermodel. Right. So, that's the problem. So, so one of you said earlier that, uh, that big women need love, too. And that's true. Big women do need love, too. They just need more love than I can give their fat ass, okay? (laughs) Whoa, 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 whoa. No, let's be real about it. That's one thing. The other thing is, is, let's be real about it. Let's be real about it. If you're overweight, then lose some weight. Right, that's what I was saying. You're not as hot as that other chick. Yeah, just own it. Don't think you are. Own it. (laughs) Yeah, own it. Be proud of it. There's nothing wrong. I don't have Channing Channing the the Taint's body, okay? Taint him. Yeah, but at the same time, look, I am who I am, yeah. and, and I can still pull, so that's all that matters. I, I, I am think, what I am. I think what the great Brian Lyon is saying is that you should own it so that we can bone it. Yeah. yeah that's right. Okay, and as, <laughs> and as a transracial, trans, <laughs> trans-sober, uh, trans-celluloid person. Yeah. Cellulite person. <laughs> yeah. Because, cellulite, yeah, not cellulite because I'm not in movies anymore. <laughs> Although I am waiting for um, an offer from uh, uh, the same place that offered Rachel Dolezal, but um, <laughs> By, yeah, <laughs> lots of money. As a a tri trans person, you know I am a a a once fit, once thin man trapped in a you know slightly overweight body. But That's you a know huge what? bitch. But you know what? <laughs> I learned in my older age that Thank money. You. And a nice little sports car. <laughs> it all of a sudden makes me much more attractive. That's it does. It makes, it makes you regrettably attractive. <laughs> it does. Re- regrettably man. attractive. I'm just kidding. It does. <laughs> but one of the you know, it, and you said you said earlier, you said that uh, you know, beauty's in the eye of the hope uh, of the beholder. Of the and Hulk. beauty and, be, and beauty's only of the skinny. bone holder. Of the bone holder. <laughs> <laughs> beauty's in the eye of the bone holder. Okay? Yeah, if you're holding my bone, yeah. you're probably pretty beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> that is correct. And, and, and you said that beauty's skin deep. And if a girl truly believes that, she's sitting there and she's, you know, let's throw out a number, 300 pounds, and she Ugh. thinks she's hotter than the chick that's 120 pounds down at the other end of the bar. Then, but there is some in, guy out there that's going to say she is. There's some guy out there that just wants to bone. Well, okay? so what? He's going to bone right. that girl. All right. No, no, no. But, Ben made a great point. He, you know, when you said own it, and that's the, that's really the thing here. Well, if you he are, also said something after that. Which no, totally no, yeah. discounted no, that fact. <laughs> but but if, if you if you are an, uh, an overweight person, male or female, and you 
truly are 